Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about accessing markdown data in Gatsby. Now, if you've been following along with this course, you'll know that we've been learning how to grab data and bring it into our Gatsby files. So I can go out and I can grab information about the Gatsby website, and I can also get information about the overall file system that we're using. So if you look over here on this page right here, I'm basically have a table that's listing out all of the pages that are inside of my website. But here's a question, like, imagine that instead of just listing out pages, you actually wanted to access information inside of those pages. So this is all information about the pages, right? We have the relative path, the size, the extension, when it was created, but this isn't actually giving us, it's only giving us information about the page. It's not giving us like what's inside of the page itself. And if you're trying to build like a blog or something, and it, or especially if you're trying to work with Markdown, you're gonna wanna be able to access more information about the page. You're gonna wanna be able to like figure out, okay, what information is actually inside of these Markdown files that I'm creating and be able to use that information to display those pages better. So in order to do that, we need to actually install another plugin. And before I install the plugin, I just wanna make a new markdown file. So inside of my pages directory, I'm just gonna make a markdown file called my first post. And this will just sort of represent like a markdown file post that we can access. And inside of this post, I want to start by writing something called front matter. And front matter is basically information that you can write about the different pages or the different markdown pages on your website. So up here in between these three dashes, I can actually write some variables. So I could define a title and we can just say that this is like my, and then I could also define something else like an author. So I could, you know, define like who's writing this. So we could just say it's me. So this is called front matter. And this is basically just data that you're defining about the data in this file. So it's metadata. And then we can just put some content. So this is the content in my markdown. So what I want to be able to do is run a query to be able to access this markdown. And first thing I'll point out is if you notice over here, the table that we're looking at here is actually updated. And so now it's including my first post out markdown. And over here, I'm using the source file system plugin in order to display this stuff. And so automatically when I create this new markdown file, it gets added into our table here. But instead of just being able to figure out that we have a markdown file, I actually wanna be able to access the information inside of this file. So I wanna be able to access the actual markdown content right here. And then I wanna be able to access these front matter variables up here. And if I can do that, then I can create a listing on my page that will list out all of these files or all of these markdown files. And the way that I do that is opening up my terminal and I actually want to install something. And this is gonna be a, another Gatsby plugin. And I'm just gonna paste this down here. And you'll notice it's just npm install dash dash save Gatsby transformer remark. So this is gonna be a plugin that's gonna allow us to do some stuff with those markdown files. So I'm just gonna click enter and NPM is gonna go off and do its thing. And once that's done running, we can actually go over to our Gatsby config file and tell Gatsby that we wanna use it. So over in this Gatsby config file, down here inside of this plugins array, I'm just gonna add another entry and we're just gonna type out the name of the plugin that we just downloaded. So it's just gonna be Gatsby Transformer Remark, just like that. So once we have that in here, I just wanna restart my Gatsby development server. And now that this is running, I wanna head over to this Graph IQL user interface, and we can start trying to access the information in this markdown file. Since you just added that new plugin, we should now have access to a couple new attributes inside of this GraphQL. And you wanna just start typing out all, and what you should see is all markdown remark. And you can also just start typing markdown, and you'll see that these two new options have appeared. So markdown remark and all markdown remark. And these are now things that we can use to query the markdown files in our file system. So I'm just gonna do all markdown remark, and I'm just gonna click control enter or command enter. 
and this will start up a default query for us. So this is just gonna query through all of the markdown files on our site. So if I play this query, you'll notice over here, we have the basically like the ID of the path. So it's just pages my first post dot markdown. And if I added in some other markdown files, then more entries would show up here. So let's do that. Let's add another markdown file and we'll just call it markdown to I can give this some front matter as well. So we'll just give this a title. So over here, now when I replay this, the new markdown file should show up. And so here we have that markdown to file showing up. In addition to just accessing the ID, there's also a lot of other things we can access. So if you click control space, then this list is gonna pop up and this will give you everything that you can access about the markdown file. So one cool thing is this HTML right here. And this HTML will basically just spit out the actual HTML of the markdown file. So you can use this HTML attribute in order to insert the content of the markdown file into one of your web pages. We can also access that information that was inside of the front matter. So if I just type out front matter, You'll notice by default, it's trying to query for date and parent. Um, but since we only have title, we want to just query for the title. And you'll notice that it's giving us the title of both of these uh, front matter or both of these markdown pages. So you can use these markdown queries in order to access information about the markdown files that are in your site. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.